Welcome. This video is going to demonstrate how to make a bar stool in Inventor. This model is part of the Higher Graphic Communication CAD Challenges set of models. To begin with, we're going to start making the seat. For the seat, we want to concentrate on the outside profile and then we're going to offset it to make the thickness. So we're drawing the side of the seat first. Start by drawing a circle, as you can see on the screen, that is a diameter of 120. Then from the top part of the circle, we want to draw a line now it should snap at that point, which is a quadrant. Draw a line along 440 millimeters. We can then draw a line up by 60, and then another circle that's a diameter of 120 for the second circle. And for the third circle, we can then draw a line up 160, up vertically, then horizontally to the right 160. So we can draw the last circle in place, and this is a diameter of 80. As you can see in the video, we're now going to draw lines drawn at a tangent between these points. The line I've just drawn just now is also a line used for cutting, so it only curves around part of the way. We can then use the trim tool to remove any parts of the lines we no longer need, the outside line, and turn any of the lines that we use for construction to construction lines by right clicking on them and selecting construction. This bottom point here is the key part of the, the outside profile shape. Start by drawing a line from the centre of the circle down 137 millimetres, then horizontally across. They want to draw a line at a tangent, at an angle now, it needs to be roughly as you can see in my drawing just here, or that will interfere with the legs later on. Make sure the lines are drawn at tangents, use the tangent constraint, and as you can just see in the drawing there, we've used the offset button to offset that line by 10 millimeters. All I'm going to do next is draw little lines at the end to make it a complete outline shape, and we can then extrude that out by 460 millimeters. The last part of this model's got four holes to attach it to the legs. We're going to use the project geometry button at the moment to select outside surfaces. Remember that uh, transfers the, the geometry from the model onto a work plane we're working on just now. We're going to start by drawing a line from the far left-hand corner, or top left-hand corner, along 191.5 millimetres. Be careful, make sure that goes right in the top corner there, it might snap to the wrong point. We can then draw down 30 and along by 250 as it shows in a drawing for the position of the two circles. Circles are drawn at a diameter of 5. We're going to repeat this for the other side using the project geometry button again and the exact same sizes for the last two circles. Now I'm just going to put these circles in place. And then these are extruded down the way, subtract the material to form the hole. The second part we're going to move on to is the legs. Now there's two legs in the model, you only need to model one and you can put uh, the legs in twice when you do your assembly. To begin with, we want to draw a large circle that's got a diameter of 300. Then from the right hand side we want to draw a line down 170, make sure it's from the quadrant of the circle and you might want to this stage use the, const uh, the tangent constraint to make sure it's touching at that point. We can then draw a line horizontally across by uh, 30, draw another circle in place, a line across from there 112 for the second circle and draw a circle size of 60 and we can then connect those up with tangents as you can see in the drawing. For the top part we want to draw a line up 940, just draw that up from the centre of one of the circles then a horizontal line we can then draw a line up the centre and then across to the right hand side by 200. This is going to find the centre of the, the top circle. We can then draw a circle in this place here that's the same size as before, a diameter of 60. That allows us to then join the two circles up as you can see in the, drawing, in the video just now at a tangent. Remember to use the constraints tool to make them join. We can then trim off the parts of the model we don't need and turn any construction lines to construction. Now for the second part of the model, we're going to actually mirror these lines across. So select the mirror tool, we can select the lines we like to mirror and a center line. There we go. Now making the legs, we're going to use a sweep feature. So we've done the path, we now need to draw the profile. So select the centre work plane. And what I'm going to do is just rotate it slightly just now. 
and use the constraint, uh, the, should I say, the projected geometry button to just get a point accurately at the top for my circle. Circle size we're going to draw is going to be a size of 20. And you can work that out by looking at the size of the, the screw block or the feet in orthographic drawing. Okay, now we've got our two parts. We can then use a sweep tool. The profile is going to be the circle. The path is going to be the line. And we've got the second part made. What we do need to do is add on some holes for attaching to the seat and also the footrest. So for the top part, we're going to use the new work plane and we're going to select a work plane that's tangent to the top surface, but also parallel to a plane. So I'm going to select the work plane that's horizontal, select the top part of that uh, bar, and I've got a new work plane in place that we can draw on. I've got the center point still marked from earlier, as you can see there. So I can then draw from there, align each side by 125 millimeters to find the center of this, the holes that we're going to then extrude through. We are same on this side, 125. Hole size is going to be five. That's a diameter. We can then extrude those holes, subtract the material through the surface. Just going to hide that work plane in the modeling tree. Okay, the next one here, we're going to actually draw on this work plane first of all. And I'm going to select Project Geometry. This is just going to give me an edge. That's going to allow me to do a work plane that's tangent to a surface through an edge. So I can click this line twice to put a new work plane in place there. Then draw on that, and this is for the hole that's at the front. So from the bottom corner, we want to draw up a line 300 millimeters in size. We can then draw a circle size 5 at that point. Just be careful, zoom in maybe for this because it does jump and snap to different parts. And we can then extrude that, circle in, subtract the material to go right through as well. Okay, on to part three. This is not actually on the graphic drawing. We're going to do a foot rest. So we're going to draw a rectangle shape out that's going to be 50 in height and 460 in length. We can then extrude that by 10 to create the foot rest. We can then add on hole positions to attach it on. Use the project geometry to select the sides. We can then draw a line in by 30 from the edge, then up by 25. We can do that on both sides, and that'll be the point, the center points for some holes. The holes we're going to make are five in diameter. So we can draw those in place, then extrude them through, subtract the material. There we are. Okay, third part. This is called the packer piece. Now for this, it's going to be a uh, revolve. What we want to do is start by drawing a line out from the center by 2.5. And then going to draw a rectangle in place. The rectangle is going to be five tall. And drawing a rectangle as you can see there. And we want to then have a center line down the middle. and filleted edges. Filleted edges are going to be a radius of two. We can then revolve that round to create a kind of a donut-like shape. As I see, I've not trimmed that very well. Sometimes the dimension lines can get in the way, so just drag them to the side. I'll just redraw everything to make sure it's a completed outline shape. And there we have our packer piece. Okay, so the next part is the fifth piece, and that's a screw block. The screw block can be quite tricky to do. Start by drawing a rectangle that's 19 along and 10 tall. Then in the corners of that rectangle, draw circles that are a diameter of one millimeter. Then connect up using the line tool, those circles, making sure the lines are drawn at a tangent. You can also use the tangent constraint tool to make sure they are touching at a tangent. For the top part of the screw block, it's a kind of a curve. And we're going to use the arc tool, the center point arc tool. The size you want to draw at is 10.5. Start by clicking the center, 
move the mouse up high like you can see, like you can see in the video and click and then click a second time to finish the curve. Same on this one, type in 10.5, start the mouse in that position and then click once you've drawn it. Put the two lines intersect, we want to draw a circle that's a diameter of 20 and that should then touch at a tangent the circles at the side. We can then trim away the lines we don't need, so that's the top part of our circle and the rest of the small circles. And we can also turn all the other lines to construction lines. If you hold down the shift key, you can select more than one line at a time. So select them all, right click on the line and go construction to finish the outline profile. We can then extrude that profile out. And this time we're going out by 15 to create the shape. Now there's a hole going through it with a count of board hole. So I'm going to draw on the, new, on the bottom a new uh, sketch. Project geometry the top two lines, then draw a line between them. That'll find the center points of the top lines and the green dots also the center point on the line. Draw a circle and extrude it in. The circle size is 10, extrude it in by two. Then do another sketch inside that. Draw in a circle of a diameter five and extruding it through enough to subtract the material to make the hole. The sixth and final part is going to be the foot or the feet. This is done like the screw block. So start by drawing a rectangle out that is 24.3 by 13. We then want to go from the center point at the top here and draw a line either side that's 10.1. Now this will give us positions for the circles, a bit like we drew in this, uh, the screw block. So the first circle size is going to be a diameter of one. And the four circles go in the, play, uh, the positions you can see. We can then join these circles up with lines, making sure the lines are at a tangent. Again, you can use the tangent constraint tool to make sure they are touching at a tangent. We can then use the trim tool to remove the parts of the circles we no longer need. For the top part, we're going to use the center point arc tool once more, like we did in the screw block. Same size, it's going to be a 10.5. For the arc, where the two lines intersect, we can then draw a circle of a diameter of 20. That should just touch the circles. Trim the bits you no longer need and turn the lines to construction that you no longer need as well. And that will leave the profile, the profile shape that we, we, we desire. Again, remember you can use the shift key to select more than one line and just to speed things up. Okay, we're going to extrude this one out once more. This time it's going to extrude it by 30. On the bottom surface, again, do a new sketch. Use project geometry to select the two outside lines. That'll allow you to find the centre nice and easy. The green dot's the centre. Draw a line between them. The green dot in the centre of that one is the centre of the object. And draw a circle that is a diameter of 11. That's going to get extruded in, subtract the material by three. We can then do a new sketch inside that. This time it's going to be a circle with a diameter of five, and we're going to extrude that through to create the shape. Anyway, thank you for watching. That's the parts for the bar stool.